What's up, what's up guys? Welcome to the kickback. Today we're going through um, an adventure. We're going to do an adventure with some really random people. This is kind of a really random meet. There's a lot of random words in the sentence, but a little background info. So I've got five friends from Melbourne that are coming down here. They're amazing creatives. Go check them out. All the links in the description. And then coming out to the country and kind of meet me out here. So I'm going to show them around my hometown, show them the jewels of the area. And they're here. We're going to meet at Jeffrey Michael's Patisserie first, go eat some treats and sweet out a little bit. But today's going to be pretty cool. Um, we're going first to Jeffrey's, then we're going to head out to Beechworth and go down to the Woolshed Falls and show them what that's all about. And then we're going to go to the Beechworth Gorge, have a little swim around there. After that, we take some photos and some rad drone shots and everything else. We're going to go down to the Hume Weir. We're going to meet Riley there with his boat. I'm going to have some fun on the water and then have a barbecue. And then that night, we're going out to a place in Colcam. Thank you so much to Letitia. She's been so great to deal with. Um, we've got this place with her just at last minute and they've let us stay at their place um, called Round Hill Homestead, which is in Colcan. Definitely check them out. Links and display, uh, links and display, links in the um, description below as well. But anyway. We get to go. We're gonna get this day started. Are you excited? I'm super excited. Sub if you like and what's going on. Like if you don't want to. Whatever. Oh. This is yours. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Kim Blanza. This is the Kickback, and <laughs> what's up, everybody? My name's Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Nice to meet you, man. And Thank you. Is... I'm Kim Blanza. <laughs> um, <laughs> my name is David. I'm the only Korean on this trip. Hence the kimchi and yeah. the the dough boys. Yes. Alderman, what's on your my shorts. what's on your neck? Mad. Oh, it's a bruise. I accidentally hit myself. Oh, How'd you do that? Yeah. Damn son. Oh, he right. collided Shorts. with someone's lips. Like it was a very. <laughs> I'm Francis. Well, I I'm Filipino. I like anime. <laughs> One Piece. Hunter x Hunter. What? Two favorites. Just finished up eating some sweets. We're here with the Adobe boys over here. That's it. So we're in Beechworth right now, and we're gonna show these guys Woolshed Falls as it's a classic place to go to to get some other cool things. And we're gonna head up to the gorge later. Our leader Kim showing us the way, the way of the Wodongia. Hey guys! <laughs> Guys, what do you think of, of wool shed thus far? <laughs> I haven't found the <laughs> shed, cool, bro. Man. Where's the shed? Where's, Where's the wool? The wool? <laughs> So we're here at the actual falls now. Everyone's having a look around. Uh, I think they're pretty excited that it's a kind of cool place. And this is something that all Rudonga and in the area have that's pretty exciting. Then you got the fellas down here. <laughs> How's it cut? What do you reckon? <laughs> I tried to find um, Francis's lost glasses. And <laughs> I think I might I almost entered into another dimension. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Hey, if you want, yeah, the, our waterfall's up for grabs too, if you want to go sit up there. Yeah. Hey, um, Francis, bring your glasses. <laughs> 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 Yo, We're actually we're out here on a bit of an adventure. We're out here on a bit of an adventure. Watch out for snakes, by the way. <laughs> we're at uh, Beechworth Gorge now, and we're still alive. Everybody, <laughs> everyone's got their limbs. Everyone's still in one piece. Francis shoot himself. Except you for Francis, he lost his glasses. You don't know that yet. <laughs> I'm shy. At Beechworth Gorge, I'm just showing these guys the natural water slides. So if you haven't been here, this is at Beechworth Gorge. If you go through the historic route and go through there and then park just after the bridge and then walk down a little bit you can find this 
It's a little bit dry today, but it's enough water so you can get a shoot down into the like little pit there. So it's pretty nice, and this whole place is like gorgeous. So if you're not a local, come find this. If you're local, you know about it. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> so we've reached the end of the day, all pretty much close to right to the end before we hit the um, the homestead and where we're staying. So we're at the Hume right now and we've got Riley skiing out there. A few of the boys jumped on the uh, <laughs> on the biscuit as well and we stacked it hard on there. So it was a lot of fun. Um, Francis actually hasn't been on, on a biscuit before, Eric either, so they were introduced to something new. Um, I've got Shin and Kurt, they're going to be about to jump on a little bit later on as well. Are you ready? Because you're on soon. But here's uh, these guys right here. Oh, damn son. Let's do it. So that was me there trying to get up on the wakeboard. I can skate, I can snowboard. Uh, I thought I could get up on the first go for wakeboarding. Clearly can't drag for like 20 meters on my butt across the water and then got super tired and tried another two, three times and I just couldn't get up. So hopefully next time I can do it. But anyway, this was the end of the weir. Then we got to, to Round Hill Homestead um, quite late. So this is us arriving there. Oh, whoa. Whoa. So these were original service quarters. Yeah. So we finally made it to the homestead. And I think everyone's a little bit what I would say, we're we expecting this. If you want to know, we're actually here in like just a little bit outside of Colcan. We're in Brown Hill Homestead. Um, there used to be an old like wolf shed service quarters here. Uh, there's a wolf shed out there. Sunrise is about to happen, so we're about to get there. Um, also, it's like this beautiful blue light at the moment. Where you can just kind of see things that we couldn't see at night, and this property is absolutely amazing. So, probably went to bed at like 2 a.m. Um, because Kurt and David um, and myself. We were out shooting some photos a little bit later than the other guys and also setting up some time lapses for David and um, Kurt.
David out in the back of this. I don't know, what's your little utility vehicle of some sort? Sir. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. Sir. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's gone now. That is the end of this adventure. Um, just for this one. Now, I'm sure there's going to be more in the future. And uh, massive thank you to everyone who helped organize this, who got involved, and also big thanks to the fellas to come down here and come check out where I live. Obviously, Cockan isn't exactly where I live but it is in the surrounding area and um, this is actually a really really beautiful place. Massive massive thank you to uh, Forethought by Samantha who showed me this place um, who linked up myself and Letitia so we can come out here and we have a place to stay in such late notice so thank you so much this place is absolutely incredible I highly 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 recommend it to any family anyone any couple that wants to get around any friends that want to get away um, it's only a 40 minute drive out of Aubrey Wodonga so it's really close but you feel like you're really far out there's a room with two singles in there and there's a room with a double I'm sure they can change that to a, a double in there if they want if you have more than four people staying here um, they can accommodate you with extra swags as well and then you have a communal kitchen area here so it was an old servants quarters um, so there's got absolutely everything out here outside here and then you also got a pool which is amazing and this place is absolutely stunning as well so definitely definitely well worth it go check them out they're called uh, Round Hill Homestead in Colcan or just outside of Colcan and this place is absolutely stunning oh <laughs> This morning, uh, the teacher was kind enough to take us out to the wool shed. It's over a hundred years old. It is massive. We had to walk through there. We found a little bat, um, but they set up that area in there for receptions, 21st, any event there uh, with the lights and it can spruce it up really, really nicely. And it's just got this beautiful Australian rustic feel, especially weddings. A few weddings do get um, held out here and they started to pick it up so they're getting popular which is exciting and it's great for them but there was a 21st on the weekend as well so it's not open to just weddings they're happy to have any sort of party that's happening out here <laughs> anyway that's an adventure and a little backstory yeah we haven't actually come together as a group until just just this weekend and yeah everyone is an incredible dude everyone is an incredible person super friendly go check out their work um we've been supporting each other in the circle for quite some time but I actually never met in real life so that's what this whole thing was about it actually meeting the people that you talk to behind the screen so that was really exciting if you like this video give it a thumbs uh if you like it a lot sub around that'd be really 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 nice and i appreciate it as well so thank you so much for kicking back with me guys i'll catch you guys next time on the kickback bye